Hi, I'm Scott Leslie. And today we're gonna to do a head-to-head -head test against the Airy Sky Panel S60C and the new Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60. So I thought it was pretty gutsy of Lupo to want to do this test. As we know, uh, Airy is the industry standard. It has excellent build quality and great feature sets. That's why it's used all over the place. The Sky Panel is built like a tank with an aluminum frame and a beefy yoke and a really well-made disc brake mechanism. As you can see, the power supply is separate, so this can be a little bit of a disadvantage. Now the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60 is made of technopolymer plastic reinforced with carbon fiber. Now this is durable industrial material that is really robust. I've had a one by one super panel for about two years now and I've never had any issues with it and it's held up really well. It has a solid, although not as beefy, of a yoke. Its braking mechanism works really well, although it's not as heavy duty as Aries. Now on the back, the Lupo is powered by two separate AC bricks. Both the Sky Panel and the Aries can also be run off of two batteries. One thing about the Sky Panel that you do need to be aware of is that it attaches to the stand via a junior pin, not your normal baby pin receiver, which means that you'll need a stand with a junior pin like a combo stand. The reason that Aerie has a junior pin is because it's pretty heavy. The lamp head weighs in at 28.2 pounds and the separate power supply weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. So together they're around 36 pounds, where the Lupo weighs just under 20 pounds uh, by itself. So quite a bit of a difference there. Now they both can be controlled through DMX. The Super Panel has the standard XLR four pin connector, while the Sky Panel has both the XLR and the LAN DMX connectors. While they both have frosted fronts, uh, the Aries front actually, you can remove it and put thicker or thinner frosted glass or even an intensifier that will increase the light output by 50%. Aries has designed a really clever release mechanism that makes changing out the diffusion a snap. And it also features an extra slot for adding other accessories like a softbox. In contrast, the Super Panel Full Color 60's front diffusion panel is not removable and there is no accessory slot. Okay, let's talk about fan noise. The Sky Panel S60's fan is much louder than the Super Panel Full Color 60. Let's take a listen. So this is just the Sky Panel. I'm gonna get nice and close. So you, I'm sure you can hear that through the mic. All right, so here's the Lupo Full Color 60. That fan is barely, barely audible. Now both the Airy Sky Panel S60C and the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60 have similar modes. They have CCT mode, HSI mode, and RGBW mode, along with some preset special effects. Let's take a look. The CTT mode is basically a dual color mode that goes from 2800 to 10,000 Kelvin. Now they do both have a minus and plus green corrector, which is really handy when matching to different fixture brands or practical lights. Next, there's an HSI mode, which is for hue and saturation. Note that when ingesting the hue, the sky panel is a little jumpy between colors where the super panel is smooth. And here is adjusting the saturation. And the RGBW mode can be used for dialing in specific RGB colors. Now, as I mentioned, both the lights have preset special effects. However, currently the sky panel has many more options than the super panel. Lupo did tell me that they are developing more special effects, which will be included in future models. Now the Aries Sky Panel S60 does have some features that the Super Panel does not have. Most notably is the ability to dial in Roscoe or Lee filters. Now if you're a DP or gaffer that's used to working with Roscoe or Lee filters, this can be super handy. The Sky Panel also has an optional wire remote for $315. They also have an option to control the light through Wi-Fi with ArtNet and additional accessories. And finally, the Sky Panel has the ability to set a master slave mode. So how this works is if you have uh, multiple Sky Panels, you can set one to be the master and daisy chain off the other one. So whatever settings you put on one Sky Panel will be duplicated to all the others. So I used the Sekonic C800U to test the color rendering and output of these lights. I wanted to be really scientific about it, so this is how I went about it. First, I turned off all the lights in here and blacked out all the windows. All right, well, let's uh, meter these babies. Then in CCT mode with zero green, I metered the two instruments first at 3200K at one meter, which is 3.28 feet. So I have my handy dandy tape measure here to make sure I'm exactly correct. 
Now, if you look at the numbers from the Siconic 800U, you'll see that both lights are close to the 3200K color temperature. But you'll notice that the Sky Panel S60C is 4000 lux brighter, which sounds like a lot, but I also measured the f-stops and that's about a half a stop difference. Now they both have a barely perceptible green magenta cast. Lupo scores a slightly better color rendering with an average CRI of 95.9 versus the 95.3 of the Sky Panel. Now when you look at the spectral distribution chart, the Sky Panel does have a bit of a green spike where the Super Panel is much smoother and thicker. When we look at the color rendering by the numbers, for skin tone, the most important spectrums are R9, R13, and R15. It's interesting to see that the Sky Panel does score higher on R9 and R15, while the Super Panel is higher on R13. Now I also metered at 5 feet, 10 feet, and 15 feet, and received similar percentages. Now if you look at this chart, you'll see the Sky Panel hovered about a half stop to one stop brighter, with the color indexes basically staying the same. Okay, so now let's take a look at it at 5600K. So I was a little disappointed on the color temperature here on the Super Panel. It came in at 6,317 Kelvin, which is quite a bit higher than the 5600 Kelvin that it's supposed to be at. Now when we look at the Lux and Foot Candles, once again, the Sky Panel is brighter. Now this time the Sky Panel is about one stop brighter than the Super Panel. Now if you look at the CC number, you'll see that the Super Panel also has more of a green cast. What's interesting is that when you look at the color rendering, the Lupo does score slightly higher. Okay, so now when we look at the spectral distribution chart, we'll see that once again, the Sky Panel S60 has a little bit of a green spike, where the Super Panel is much smoother. When we look at the breakdown of the CRI numbers, we see that across the board, the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60 scores higher. This time it also scored higher on all the important skin tone spectrums, which are R9, R13, and R15. So the Super Panel is definitely the clear winner as far as color rendering goes. So I also measured this one out at 5 feet, 10 feet, and 15 feet. So if you look at this chart here, you'll see that the Sky Panel was a half stop brighter than the Super Panel. And again, the CRI stayed similar. Finally, I did go and measure this at different color temperatures. So if you look at this chart, you'll see that the Sky Panel is consistently brighter than the Super Panel, usually by a half stop and even up to a full stop. So what's interesting is that in the lower color temperatures, the Super Panel's color temperature is closer to being correct. And the higher that the Kelvin goes, the more off that it gets. So when you get up to the higher Kelvins, like the 8,000 Kelvins, the Super Panel is actually 10,472 Kelvins. And at the 10,000 Kelvin, the Super Panel is actually 14,760 Kelvins. So the higher this gets, these numbers start to drift on us. But in contrast, when you look at the Sky Panel, the numbers are always pretty accurate. While metering numbers are great, I really wanted to see the quality of the lights on a subject. Here's a side-by-side -side test with the Super Panel Full Color 60 on the left and the Sky Panel S60C on the right. I do have a return bounce, a backlight, and a background accent light working. As you can see, the quality of the lights are very similar, both giving a nice soft key. Here you can see how soft the shadows that are cast off the Talon's hand. And here I removed the other lights and the bounce card so there's only the Super Panel or Sky Panel. I was also really curious to see how these instruments would work with my Snapbag Octa 5 softbox. This is a fantastic softbox that I really recommend for beauty lighting. Again, both instruments are very similar and look great. Here's the hand test again. And here they are again without any of the lights or bounce. So let's look at the results of the test. In build quality, the Airy Sky Panel S60 is excellent, where the Super Panel is really good. Looking at power, the Sky Panel has a separate, much heavier power supply where the Super Panels is integrated into the unit. And they both can be run on two professional batteries. Now as far as weight, the Super Panel is the clear winner. The Airy Sky Panel comes in at 36 pounds, including the power unit, where the Super Panel weighs in at 20 pounds total. Now they both have DMX controls. The Airy does have both the LAN and the 4-pin XLR, where the Lupo Super Panel just has the 4-pin. Now when we look at the front diffusion, they both have a frosted glass, but with the Sky Panel, you're able to remove it and replace it with different levels of diffusion or with an intensifier. 
Now as far as fan noise goes, the Sky Panel is quite a bit louder than the Super Panel. Both the Sky Panel and the Super Panel have a CCT mode, an HSI mode, and an RGBW mode. They both also have special effects, but the Super Panels is more limited than the Sky Panels. The Sky Panel also has a gel mode, which you are able to call up specific Roscoe or Lee gel colors. The Sky Panel offers an optional wired remote, and you also can do a Wi-Fi version. Okay, so as far as color rendering goes, the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60 consistently scored higher on the average CRI, but it did have a little bit of a blue shift in the higher Kelvins. As far as light output goes, the Sky Panel was a clear winner. It scored consistently a half stop to full stop brighter. Finally, let's talk about the cost. The Sky Panel S60C is over twice the amount of the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60. The Sky Panel is currently $5,850, where the Super Panel is $2,598. That's a $3,253 difference. So in conclusion, the Aries Sky Panel S60C specs and feature sets are a little more robust than the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 60s. But the quality of the light is very similar. But you need to ask yourself, are you going to use the extra features like dialing in the Roscoe or Lee gels enough to make it worth the extra money? Thank <laughs> you.